In 1835, one of Japan's most powerful businessmen was born. As a young man, he worked for the Tosa clan, one of the most powerful merchant clans of all time. Tosa was Japan's biggest importer of warships and weapons. The clan initially conducted its business operations in Nagasaki, but when the Meiji government created a policy to ban the system of clan-led business, powerful members of the Tosa clan established Tsukumo Shokai, the Mitsubishi predecessor, in 1870 to take over the clan-led shipping company. Shortly after 1873, the government enforced the abolition of clan-led business. Fast forward, and that boy, Yotaro Iwasaki, took over management and formed Mitsubishi Shokai, making him one of the most successful and powerful businessmen in the New Japan. This is the story of how a young boy went from working for the Tosa clan of Japan to building a multi-billion dollar brand, Mitsubishi. The story begins in 1835 in Aki, Tosa province, where the son of a provincial farmer, Yotaro Iwasaki, was born. Yotaro's family was a member of the samurai warrior nobility, but Yotaro's great-grandfather had to sell off the samurai status to cover their family debts during one of the deadliest famines of early modern Japan, the Great Famine, where it was said that nearly 20,000 people starved to death. In early life, Yotaro began his career as an employee of the Yamauchi clan, the ruling clan of Tosa Domain, which had many business interests throughout all of Japan. At 19, Yotaro left for Edo to further his studies under an official of the Tosa clan. After being gone for only a year, Yotaro's studies were interrupted when his father was seriously injured in a dispute with the village headman. Upon returning, Yotaro accused the local magistrate of corruption for refusing to hear his case and was eventually sent to prison for seven months. After his release, Yotaro soon returned to Edo where he studied under Toyo Yoshida, an advocate for the Tosa province. Toyo Yoshida was employed by the Lord of the Tosa Domain, where he influenced the young Yotaro about opening and developing Japan through industry and trade. Without a job, Toyo Yoshida found Yotaro Iwasaki working as a clerk for the Yamauchi government. This allowed Yotaro to eventually buy back his family's samurai status. In 1862, Yoshida was assassinated, causing Yotaro to lose much of his connections within the Tosa clan. However, Yoshida's nephew gained power. This led to Yotaro being appointed to management of trading operations in Nagasaki in 1869. This is where his sole job was to buy ships, weapons, and ammunition for the Tosa clan. To fund those purchases, Yotaro exported camphor oil and Japanese paper. As Japan continued opening up new ports in Osaka, Kobe and Yokohama emerged as centers of trade, replacing Nagasaki as Japan's only open port. With the end of the 300-year rule of the shogunate, the Meiji Restoration of 1868 began. This new government abolished clan-led business. Thus, in 1869, Yotaro was assigned to Osaka and rose to become manager of the clan's Osaka operations, known then as the Sokumo Trading Company. In 1870, when this new government actually enforced its rule, powerful members of the Tosa clan established Tsukumo Shokai, later adopting the name Mitsubishi Shokai, then Mitsubishi Joki Kaisha, or Mitsubishi for short, that consisted of three steamships. When the Tosa clan disbanded, Yotaro accepted part of the clan's debt in return for those ships and trading rights. In March of 1873, the company officially took on the name Mitsubishi when Yotaro became president. Upon the creation of the company logo, the three diamond crest was the blend of the Iwasaki and Tosa emblems. While Mitsu means three and Hishi meaning water chestnut, the three diamonds in the logo stood for the Iwasaki family's core values of integrity, reliability, and success. With Yotaro taking over as president, he gradually acquired more ships and expanded its freight and passenger services. Yotaro Iwasaki was devoted to the new Japanese government, as well as to his company. With the trust of the new Japanese government, Mitsubishi started to diversify their business empire and land government contracts. Mitsubishi primarily was known as a shipping and trading company, but Yotaro skillfully expanded the company into mining with the purchase of the Yoshioka mine in Okayama. This purchase resulted in the discovery of hidden riches in copper. This transformed the mine's dwindling production into one of Japan's highest producing copper mines. In 1874, Japan launched a retaliation known as the Taiwan Expedition for the murder of 54 sailors off the southwestern tip of Taiwan. Under the new Japanese government, Mitsubishi provided the ships that carried these Japanese troops to Taiwan. This was marked as the first overseas deployment of the Imperial Japanese Army and Navy. With government support, he was able to purchase more ships and increase Mitsubishi shipping lines. This shipping company giant also carried troops to put down a southwestern rebellion that broke out in 1877. During this period, Mitsubishi owned 61 ships, which made up 73% of Japan's fleet. Mitsubishi then began to diversify fast. Yotaro invested in ship repair, warehousing, financial services, coal mining, and purchased the Nagasaki shipyard. This era of growth made Mitsubishi one of the world's leading shipbuilding companies. Yotaro had his life taken by stomach cancer at the age of 50. Thus, the younger brother, Yanosuke Iwasaki, took over as Mitsubishi's second president. 
Yonosuke Iwasaki grew up in an era of rapid change. Although the brothers were close, Yotaro was considered more hot-headed and emotional, while Yonosuke more calm and collected. He eventually made his way to the United States, studying history and English in New York. However, his international studies in the U.S. were cut short after the death of their father in 1873. Returning home, Yotaro appointed Yonosuke to vice president of Mitsubishi. Yonosuke became an invaluable resource to Mitsubishi. Upon the death of Yotaro, Yonosuke Iwasaki took over as president. Yonosuke stated, I am here to announce that I will take over leadership of Mitsubishi and do my best to expand our shipping business. I will strive to fulfill the long-cherished desire of my deceased brother with his same indomitable spirit. However, with the shipping company merger, Yonosuke centered its business around mining and shipbuilding operations that Yotaro had started. Yonosuke purchased coal and metal mines, thus further investing into modernized mining techniques and new equipment. In 1890, Yonosuke purchased a field near the Imperial Palace where it was later established as Mitsubishi's first business street and took over management of the 199th National Bank. With the enactment of Japan's new commercial code, Yonosuke Iwasaki reorganized Mitsubishi and made it into Mitsubishi Goshi Kansha, a limited partnership. Soon after, Yonosuke stepped down as president in favor of his nephew, Hisaya Iwasaki. Hisaya took great inspiration from the U.S. in John D. Rockefeller and Andrew Carnegie. He also purchased an Osaka copper refinery from the government. In 1914, World War I had just begun. Mitsubishi, being Japan's largest private sector shipbuilder, flourished. Hisaya, only being president for seven years, decided to step down during this prospering time and retired, leaving the Mitsubishi reins to his cousin, Koyate Iwasaki. Koyate Iwasaki took over in 1916, the height of the company's surging growth during World War I, and remained there for the next 29 years. He transformed Mitsubishi into a corporate group consisting of more than 70 companies under the parent company Mitsubishi headquarters. While all of Europe was engulfed in World War I, centering around heavy chemicals, Koyata took a different route. Mitsubishi under Koyata created alliances with companies worldwide, including joint ventures for world-class technology. He ventured into electrical machinery, vehicles, aircraft, oil, chemical making, and steel. In 1917, Mitsubishi's automotive origins began when Mitsubishi Shipbuilding Co. introduced the Mitsubishi Model A, an entirely hand-built seven-seater sedan based on the Fiat Tipo 3. The Model A was expensive compared to their U.S. counterparts and was discontinued after only 22 had been built in 1921. In 1934, Mitsubishi Shipping merged with Mitsubishi Aircraft Co., a company established in 1920 primarily to make aircraft engines and other parts during a time of war. This became known as MHI, or Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, becoming the largest private company in Japan. The newly formed MHI concentrated on building aircraft, railroads, ships, and in 1937 built a PX-33 for the Japanese government, a prototype sedan for the military. It was the first Japanese passenger car built with four-wheel drive. In advanced technology, the company would return years later in the early 90s 3000 GT GTO, for the quest for sports car and sales success. Immediately following the end of World War II, Mitsubishi went back to focusing on cars, starting with a three-wheeled cargo van and a scooter called the Silver Pigeon. Even following Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor, Koyata stated, Now our nation has come to a decision, and although my personal ideas regarding diplomacy depart from those of the nation, we are all now called upon to follow the order of our emperor, to be united and to endeavor with all our strength for the nation. A small voice of reason calling for peace amongst chaos. In December of 1945, Koyata's health deteriorated and he died at age 66. Koyata left behind this poem. Autumn, a season of great variety. A diseased goose, motionless, lies still on the frosty ground. With Mitsubishi disbanding its headquarters in 1946, the San Francisco Peace Accord opened up an appeal to repeal the ban of the Mitsubishi logo and Zaibatsu trade names. With this change, Mitsubishi reclaimed their Mitsubishi name and in 1954, the Mitsubishi Corporation was established. At this point, the Mitsubishi logo had been shared across 40 companies within Mitsubishi, including the automotive industry, Mitsubishi Motors, and weather detection, Mitsubishi Electric Corporation, where Mitsubishi played an important role during one of Japan's biggest natural disasters. On September 26, 1959, Typhoon Asewan struck, killing 5,000 and injuring more than 40,000 Japanese citizens, becoming Japan's most destructive typhoon. In the wake of a natural disaster, Mitsubishi got the call to build a weather radar system on the summit of Mount Fuji. This became Japan and Mitsubishi's first early warning systems. Japan was gearing up for an automotive boom, and cars became Mitsubishi's primary focus. So, in 1964, its production increased to 75,000 cars annually. Following the release of the Gallant in 1969, similar growth occurred within the commercial vehicle division. Thus, the company decided to create a single operation and go all in with the automotive industry, where the Mitsubishi Motors Corporation, MMC, was formed in 1970. 
By the 80s, Chrysler, a competitor in the automotive market, wasn't doing so well. So, in order to avoid bankruptcy, Chrysler sold their manufacturing company to Mitsubishi. However, tension grew within Chrysler and Mitsubishi, so they agreed to unite and form Diamond Star Motors, or DSM. This resulted in the three-platform sharing compact and the beginning of the 2 plus 2 coupe cars like the Plymouth Laser, Eagle Talon, and Mitsubishi Eclipse. Although they had an annual capacity of 240,000 vehicles, Chrysler sold their stake in the early 90s. The early 90s was the golden era of Japanese cars. Japanese manufacturers like Toyota, Mazda, and Nissan were producing vehicles like the Toyota Supra, Mazda RX-7, and the Nissan Skyline GTR. This was something Mitsubishi wanted a piece of and came out with a beast of their own the GTO, or in the US, the 3000 GT. Under the 3000 GT VR4 model, this complex beast was a 2 plus 2 car that had all-wheel drive, a technology previously seen in 1937, and its four-wheel steering. It featured a naturally aspirated twin-turbo dual overhead cam 24-valve V6 3.0 engine with 320 horsepower, leading to the SUV boom happening over in Japan and the current Mitsubishi we know of today. Today, Mitsubishi focuses mainly on SUV and sedan-style cars like the Mirage, Outlander, and Lancer. With a market share of over $44.14 billion, Mitsubishi is the world's 354th most valuable company.